You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What's going on? We locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. Shout out to my sponsor, St. Eyes Blunts. Make sure to get you one of those. I got San Diego in the building today, man. I got KT4. How you doing, bro? Yes, sir, what's the deal? What's the word? You know, feeling great, feeling great. How's everything going for you today? You know, it's been straight, smooth day. Hell yeah. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you here. I appreciate you coming through today. Hell yeah. To start off, Q, let me know how you feel about everything that's been going on with the coronavirus. Oh, man, that shit bullshit. Throw off to the world. <laughs> <laughs> that shit just, man, that, that shit just to me, really. Has it slowed you down any, like, as far as the music? Uh, No, not really, except for, like, when people be trying to book me for shows, that's the only thing that slowed down. You would, you would do a show right now? Uh yeah, actually I was supposed to be I was supposed to be doing a show what like uh a month ago, but it got like shut down due to that. So Oh, due to the corona? Yeah. Well, okay. Shit, but I mean most shows coming soon. You be you been dropping some slappers, so you know they're gonna come soon. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. How you feel about everything we've been seeing with like the uh, the police brutality? Been black man been getting gunned down in the streets by the cops. Have you experienced police brutality? You, you is that something you know about? Uh, no, nah, I just experienced like getting getting harassed, you know. But I ain't never really experienced like you know the actual uh, brutality about it. But um, I actually have a uh my cousin, uh, his little sister, um, from his dad's side, um, or his mom's side. I'm sorry, uh, passed away, or whatever, because the police like drug her, ran her over. This was like in 2000. Uh, this is like 2003, I believe. Though, like I was a kid. That's crazy as hell. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Everything. Um. Can you tell me, uh, what was it like growing up in San Diego? Uh, San Diego? Growing up in San Diego was, you know, it was regular, like, you know. Like, you grow up anywhere else. They got they, uh, you know, they good parts, they bad parts. It's It wasn't really nothing, though. San Diego growing up was regular. Do you think it get, like, the, the, a bad rep? Like, when niggas think San Diego, they think of, like, the beaches and shit, but not knowing like it's really yeah, oh God. a lot of shit going oh God. on. <laughs> if you're not from there, you're going to be like, oh, it's just, you know, white people or beaches. But nah, it's, it's way more than that. It's, it's yeah, San Diego. It's lit, too. It'll be kind of lit. It's like a little L.A., you know. Yeah. Oh, God. What, uh, can you describe San Diego in three words? Um. <laughs> <laughs> he like, damn, this nigga threw me on Hello, <laughs> three words, San Diego. Uh, shit. Shit, man. Um, I don't know. In three words, let me see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that one got me. That one threw me off. Shit. I'm trying to think. Shit. It could be anything. Um, shit. Uh, I don't want to say the wrong things. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I mean, it's your, it's your, it's your perception, though. You feel me? A nigga can't argue about your perception. I mean, I could say it's separated. Um, you know, it's a lot of like, like yeah, hatred in the city. Um, you know, there's a lot of shit. Other than that, you know, I mean. It's uh, rising. Yeah. Rising. Yeah. So I say it's, you know, hatred rising and separated, though. All right. That's all good. For sure. Uh, how did you grow up? Uh, were your parents around? What was that like? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. My parents was around. Uh, Well, shit. Um, my mom, I had moved out of my mom's when I was like 12. And then I started, uh, I was functioning with Pops. And then uh, after that, um, yeah, I switched in with Pops all the way to, like, 18, 17, 18, yeah. How was that, just being with your Pops? Uh, shit, it was dope. You know, a lot of people ain't had their Pops around, so, you know, I got to, you know, take advantage and, you know, be, like, you know, blessed for it. Blessed for it you yeah. Know? Took a lot of, uh, soaked a lot of game in. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it, is gang banging big in San Diego? Uh, uh, it's not, like, it's big, but it's not, like, like, 
out like LA big, I would say. It's big though, yeah. I mean it's a it's a lot of gangs, it's a lot of clicks. Um, yeah. you know. I mean we could we, it's not a lot, like a lot, like, you know, we could on the count of my fingers, I believe I could name every gang on the count yeah. of my fingers. It's not like, you know, everywhere else they got like all these gangs inside gangs and then yeah. every street is a gang. It's not yeah. it's not nothing like that, nah. Do you do you gang bang? Uh I'm from San Diego, you know, somewhere over there, you know, I don't really get into all that. You know, yeah. them people be on me trying to, <laughs> you know, tarnish my name and yeah. tarnish my character in them courts trying to like, oh yeah. he's this or he's that. But, yeah. you know, so I don't really I don't really uh Hell yeah, nah, it's all good. Shit. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta uh, put all your business out there for sure. Yeah, hell I don't really broadcast it. Yeah. <laughs> um do you think that street politics divide the San Diego music scene though? Yeah, hella, 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 hella. Do you think that's good? You think it or it just is what it is? It just is what it is. It's not good, but it's not bad either. Cause uh, you know, it's just like if one of my partners do something to one of they partners over there, and then like you know, um, like uh, I'm making a song with him, and then like you know, my my like entourage coming and they coming, it's it's not gonna be good. You know, yeah. it's gonna be like. They not gonna let that slide. Like it's not, we not either. So it's just like it's not good, but it's not bad, you know. So yeah, it is what it is. Like, do you think that like the artists say like if you was like man, he he not from our side, but that nigga saucy though, and we could probably make a milli piece if we get together. Do you think niggas will allow that, or niggas will still be like nah, like yeah, 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 nah. Niggas will allow it, but they'll just allow like them to be on their own terms. Like yeah. if y'all gonna do that, do that on y'all own terms. You know, just don't involve, you know, everybody else. Just avoid the, you know, avoid the politics. Like avoid us coming and like if y'all do a video, like do that on your own time. You know, yeah. like don't bring they people, don't bring our people, because then you know what could happen. Yeah, so. not our facts. Have you ever had a normal job? Uh, I mean, I sold cars. Okay. Yeah. I you like cars. that? Uh, I mean, well, I have. I got my dealer's license, so since I was eighteen, I've been going to private auctions and buying cars and flipping them. It wasn't like a job where I'm sitting at a lot yeah. or nothing like that all day. It's just a thing where like that's a hustle though. Yeah, that's a hustle. That's, that's a, a hustle. hustle on everything. <laughs> on everything. Uh, nigga, I, already, <laughs> I was just telling a nigga the other day. I said, if a nigga ain't got no hustle, he can't be around me, bro. I can't oh, be God. around a nigga with no hustle. Well, the G, that shit crazy. <laughs> No, my, I remember my pops used to take me back to the uh, to the car auctions back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those fuckers be tired. Yeah, on everything, on everything. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about your respect as an artist in San Diego? You think the city sleep on you? You think niggas know what's up? How do you feel? Mm. Nah, they know what's up. You know, I mean, I got people in the city that probably don't like me, but they fuck with my music. Yeah. So, is that weird? Like Hella weird. <laughs> Hella weird. But, you know, it, it is what it is, though. Like, it's just like, I don't even care. I ain't tripping. It's whatever. Like, you know. And it'd be a lot of a lot of them don't even know me either, like, personally. Like, yeah. you don't even know me. You just. Now, I, always, I, I mean, I've heard rappers say that in songs. They be like, niggas, niggas don't like me, but they love the music. Yeah, like, on I'll everything. I'll be talking about how that works. Yeah, like, on everything. <laughs> like, what? They just 50 50 about yeah. it. Like, it is what it is, though. Yeah. Uh, is pimp culture like big in San Diego? Like I know that's like I'm from the Bay. That's like hella big in the Bay. But like, is it big in San Diego? In this timing right now, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell Do you know yeah. how like it got started out there or anything or like um, or that just with like the young niggas is well. Right it, it's been. I ain't even gonna say it right now. I'm gonna say it's been. It's been. We got uh. Uh, we got like you know like the North and uh, and Dago the North matter of fact they they been on that too everybody been on it but the North you know they been like since I was like probably not even born like they been fucking with like the Bay yeah. and you know niggas from the Bay and niggas from everywhere else and all around you know so yeah yeah it's been it's been yeah San Diego fuck with the Bay tough though right yeah yeah they go fuck with the Bay yeah hello they go fuck with the Bay for nah, sure I fuck with it. Uh, do you feel like you kind of started your own wave at SD? Like, your sound is real unique to you? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. On oh, everything. You think niggas trying to steal your style? Nah. Nah, I think... <laughs> uh, well, shit. The style, the style that, uh, that, I, that I'm, uh, you know, um, proceeding with right now, you know, it's like a... It's a Sam Gang style, you know? Yeah. It's a... You know, it's called... Uh, our little camp, whatever, it's called Sam Gang. We originally started as three artists. Me... See at the gang, y'all be Sam. Oh, y'all know about bro. Sam named Keek. Yeah, He's that's crazy. That, yeah, that's my brother and <laughs> everything. 
Um, oh, yeah, all y'all in the same clique? We in the same camp. Okay, yeah. yeah so we right. all started as God Body the label. Yeah. And um, you know, like I brought uh God Body to the table, or whatever. I just put the label behind it. And then like from God Body, you know, um I explain it's uh, you know, seven letters, God Body, the seven letter of the alphabet is a G. Yeah. We live by the seven P's, prior yeah. power planning prevents piss poor from pharmacy. So Hell we come yeah. up with Sam Game, you know, so that's how we did that. Yeah, yeah, we Do, that's know- that's that's the wave right now, for sure. Yeah. Y'all, y'all for sure got a, a <laughs> yeah. wave at uh, SD, for sure. Um, yeah. This crazy, though. Know, the seven Ps that you mentioned is uh-huh. like uh, it's like a big part of my fraternity, because I'm, oh, yeah? I'm a Q. Okay, yeah, yeah. the seven yeah. Ps is yeah, like yeah. something that they tell niggas yeah. to, uh, to live by. So oh, that's God. hard as hell, you oh, feel God. me? Uh, if you live by them seven principles, you feel me, you'll really be yeah, solid. Yeah, really you on me? everything. Be on what? Shit. That's yeah, hard, though. Yeah, on everything. That's on some, on some <laughs> next level shit. Y'all yeah. niggas better really open your ears to what bro said. Yeah, for sure. How, how did you come up with your name? Uh, KT Foreign. Um, you know, it's my name, but uh, then again, like like I said, with the uh, seven Ps and all that, um, my family, I got a part of my family that studied the Quran. Yeah. And then I, I got a part that's, you know, Christian, whatever. I really... I just go by what's the truth, you know. I just believe in the truth. Yeah. I don't really pick a side or nothing like that. I do believe it's a higher power, though. Yeah. But um, yeah, my name. So in the God body, you know, um, studies the Quran. So you know, they say the Quran's the truth. So Quran truth, and then you know, they don't eat pork. Uh, being a God body, I don't smoke, drink, uh, pop pills, or you know, do nothing like that in that yeah. source. Uh, don't celebrate holidays or anything like that. So it's foreign to everything else. So yeah. KT foreign. I like that. Yeah. Damn. You've never smoked a drink ever in your life? Ever in my life. Hell That's no. crazy. Yeah, on God. That's never. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight, though. Yeah, everybody be like, damn, how you do it? I be around the whole room of people smoking and drinking. They be like, I'm like, Everybody no, in there good. turned up. Yeah, hella. Do you ever feel like, damn, I, will, I, I feel like, you ever? do you ever feel like you want to give in or not? Nah? nah, hell nah. It's just something. It's just like a, it's just like, like, like a gray area to yeah. me. Like, I don't even... Like, That's tight though. Yeah, I fuck with yeah, it. I fuck with it, bro. Nah, I fuck with it for sure. Um, do you ever feel pressure as far as the music? Um, pressure, like, like what to, to keep dropping? Like you know, like nigga, if a nigga don't drop a song for two months, the fans like yeah, yeah, he yeah, fell yeah. Off. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you know I'll be feeling like that, but then I just come harder and come with like a, a harder feature. If I wait so long, I'll come out with something else with somebody else and they're going to be back on it again. It's just all how you do it. Like, it's just, uh, you just got to strategize every move. Like if you do wait, then, you know, make sure when you come back that three months, 90 days later or whatever, it's that you shit. come with something. Yeah. That's <laughs> going, yeah. You know, wake them back up <laughs> for sure. No, I ain't going to lie. When I first saw your name, I was thinking like, man, he probably gonna say he only fuck with foreign bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what for sure? <laughs> I should, <laughs> nah. <laughs> but I ain't biased though. Yeah, no. not me either. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> How would you describe yourself? Uh, shit, down to earth, genuine. You know, just a hundred all the way across the board. Yeah. Um, you know, no. Like, you know, no fake shit about me, no, none of that. Like, yeah. uh, a leader. Um, What's your sign? Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 funny. That's like one of the signs I get, get along with the most. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Dope. <laughs> like, it's my dope. mom is Aquarius. So oh, like, yeah. Oh, a lot yeah. of close people to me are Aquarius. Hell yeah. That's dope. That's what's that's up. Dope. That's what's up. Now, nah, fuck with that. Um, when you made the record uh, War With Me, because that was the first record about you I ever heard, did yeah. you think it would pop? I was like, uh, it might, it might not. I didn't know it was gonna go like that though. Hell no, I didn't. <laughs> that shit like really like, like help a nigga career out like a lot. Yeah. How did you yeah. connect with uh, To and F? Uh, I connected with To um, through uh, his manager. Matter of yeah. fact, yeah, I was I hit him on the email like yeah. when they was first coming up. Yeah. I hit him like, oh, what's up? Like, you know, what's the word? Trying to you know get it in. He was yeah. like, oh, we gonna see how much they. You know, whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Boom. Tapped in with them. And then Neff, he had came down here um, for a show. Yeah. And I had, um, who was there with Neff? It was, uh, dang, I forgot. Somebody in his camp, whatever. But uh, he had, like, told Neff, like, you know, we trying to get in the lab. He was like, oh, find me some juice and shit. Like, you know, found him some juice and worked some shit out. And, yeah. Yeah, damn, it's hard. Came together. Yeah, <laughs> real, on everything. Real nigga shit. <laughs> Hella. I'm like, that's a real nigga right there. No cap. Can you talk about the the pros and cons of being an artist? 
Um, pros and cons of being an artist. Uh, so like, I don't know, I'll say the pros of being an artist. I don't know, shit. It just depends. Like the pros of being an artist, um, I mean, shit, you could make like a living out of it. Uh, you could, um, you know, you could have like, like you could lead too. Like you could make, you know, you can make some bread. Uh, you you got a voice. You could be a voice to uh, you know, your your community or whatever. Um, and you could uh, how can I say it? You could uh. Basically, if you're successful enough, a big pro could be like, you know, you could help out a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you on know, everything. Be Con- a breadwinner for the family. Yeah, yeah, on everything, for yeah. sure. Cons about it, though, uh, you know, you could, you know, people going, you know, they want to, trying to tarnish your name, you know, uh, throw some hate, throw some shade. Um, you know, they want to, like, you know, you got people that want to try you. Like, yeah, it's just a lot of bullshit. Like, a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Like, but... Why do you think that artists are, like, such a target for, like, people always trying to rob them and take their shit? Like, why do you think artists bring all that type of attention? I get it if you were, if you rapping about street shit. Yeah. But if you're not rapping about street shit and you're not even trying to be loud, like, right. I don't see why, like, yeah, ain't yeah. Really no stripe to me. Like, yeah, nah, they just probably, you know, like, you know. Niggas uh, hungry, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, niggas be hungry. You know, at the end of the day, you still got people in the streets that, you know, don't got it. Like, you know, you still got people in the streets that that's what they do. Like, if you rap or you hustle or you do this or do that, you got people that rob and, and, and you know, do what they do. So, at the end of the day, like, when they cross that path, especially with somebody they don't know, whether they rap or not, whoever they are, wherever they are, they going to, you know, do what they do best yeah. type of thing. So Yeah, yeah. I got you. Uh, so... When did you get into making music? Oh, um, I've been making music, like, since, like, a kid, whatever. I wouldn't say a kid, like, since I was, like, I've been, like, you know, like, 13 years old. Yeah. But I didn't take music serious at all until really, um, my cousin had passed away. He was, like, uh, you know, he was pushing me and shit. Like, he really wanted to, like, do the business side of it. He was trying to get me to understand it all. Yeah. And then, uh, this is in 2015, and then he, uh, he went out to the Bay, he was connecting me like with certain people, like my first Mozzie feature. He like connected it for me yeah. and shit, like you know. And then like, uh, but he went out to the bay. He was on a run for a, a, a robbery case, and uh, when the police got there, like basically he got out and tried to run. They shot him nine times. And, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. crazy as hell. Yeah, so ever since then, I just was like, shit, this is what he wanted. So I'm just gonna shit, push it. Keep going for him. Yeah, everything. Nah, nah, rest in peace and shit. Yeah, for sure. Gotta keep pushing for sure. Yeah, yeah. How did people react to you when you first started making music? Um, it was like, mm, I mean, people was fucking with it. It wasn't like a, you know, uh, of course it wasn't like a big fan base, but like people was hella was like, so- yeah, yeah, hella, hella. It wasn't really no, like off the dribble, it wasn't even no hate really or nothing. Yeah. I could say that, especially in the city. It was like, you know, people was fucking rocking with it. Like, nah, sure. I, I, I think that's dope because I'd be like, yeah, I mean, it ranged from artists, but some niggas be like, oh, nobody fucking with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 for sure. And some niggas be like, they just popped the media. Yeah. The first song will start going crazy. Yeah, nah, that's yeah. tight. Um, do you think fame and, like, the spotlight, do you think that is good or bad? Both. Both. It could be good and bad, you know? Because it's like, you know, like, like you say, like, like I know, I remember. I'm, I'm gonna say this. I remember this uh, when Mozzie first came out, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, my cousin was trying to book him for a show, and he was like, uh, he was like, oh, I gotta make sure uh, everything is together and set before we do all that. But we could do the verse though. But as far as the show, we gotta make sure. But I understand what he was saying now. Like you know, as I see, it's like damn, because I didn't had this happen to me before. Like these situations, it's like, okay, boom, like we go do a show, or if I get booked for a show today. You know, I got to post that flyer. You know, that flyer going to be everywhere. So it's like anybody, you know, being where you from or whatever, you still got people that don't like you, whether yeah. whatever you do. So it's like um, you post that flyer, then you got niggas that still going to try to come do what they do, period. Yeah. Like they don't care about no shows or nothing like that. So, like, you know, 
Like that's that's the dangerous part about it. But I mean, but I get what he was saying because I know how to move. You know, like you just got to know how to move. Like yeah. we got to move. Like you know, like a, like the army. Like yeah. we gonna move like this. So whenever something happens, our reaction gonna be on point, and that's what it is. Yeah. So no, nah, no, nah, that's real shit for sure. Do you remember the first song you ever made? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> was it fire? Hell it was it. <laughs> Even if I remember, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, listen, I always be trying to see if niggas remember that first song. Um, what artist you grew up listening to? Uh, shit. I'll say... Like I had when I used to be in the car, my uncles and shit they play like E forty. Pops used to play like um, Fifty Cent back then. Uh, who else was I growing up listening to? My uncles used to listen to like uh, like Mr. Fab and all them and shit. Like oh yeah, bass like, shit. Yeah, 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 bass shit though. Hella on God, like on the G. <laughs> yeah, it was mostly bass shit, really. Nah, that's hard. That's hard. Hella. Do you feel like the the music business is is hella cutthroat? Mm, in what way? Just as far as like how niggas be moving, like it's not like on some like. Is it love in the music industry? Like niggas is showing love, or it's more like nah, nigga, like everybody trying to get Eat. the most out of the situation. Yeah, and if they taking food off your plate, fuck it, we we'll don't give a fuck. We gonna take the food, right? And we just deal with it later. Uh, it's both. I ain't gonna lie, cause you got some people were like, you know, like you know, people, oh, I want this for a verse, I want that. You know, you got some people that you work with, and then they'd be like, hey, bro, I got you off the love. I'm fucking with you. you dope. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, like, we know the struggle. You know, we know what niggas trying to do. We try to do it. So I got you. Don't even trip. Like, you know, off yeah. the love. I had a few people like that. And then, you know, you got people that's like, oh, no, nah, I need this, you know. But yeah. that's what it is, though. It's just business still at yeah. the end of the day. So you can't really fault them for that because it's, it's business. Like, yeah. you know. Nah, real shit. Yeah. I, I be thinking sometimes, uh, Nick, it, Friendship and business begin to kind of yeah get mixed too up big, too yeah mixed yeah up yeah then, yeah with everything even with me I'd be like nigga like yeah hella I'm hella. like hold on <laughs> yeah hella you gotta keep it just keep it business yeah. that's all I do I'm gonna come at him like you know I feel like it's a boss move to me I tell you hey I got this for a verse what's yeah. popping I don't want no handouts I don't yeah. want nothing like I got this okay run it boom because yeah. I did it I paid fourteen hundred for. That shit with the SOB shit, and yeah. you know, I made sixty and, and got rid of it for a hundred, so I made yeah. down there two hundred. But yeah. you just got to know the business and like yeah. what to do. Like that's all it is. Yeah, yeah, it's an investment. Like you go buy a car, you will go buy some chains, jewelry, whatever. Yeah. It's an investment. The same yeah. shit. You know. I feel like so long niggas tried to make it seem like uh, almost it was it was like a bad thing to buy a verse, but I'm like, if, yeah, like I'm like I don't think it's a bad <laughs> thing. You know, if you taking that money. And what? You, no, tripling it no cap. 50 times in it like I mean it's like, a it's a bad thing if you don't know what you're doing like if you're a person that don't got distribution or you know you you don't you're not really like you know like talented or or whatever yeah. then yeah don't don't do it but if you're a person that's taking it serious and you and trying to get some bread and like you know know what you're doing then like yeah do that shit a hundred because I mean if you get it for if you try to get a verse for free what you're gonna get some clout and let them have a song and then yeah. most of ninety percent of the time they're not gonna even give you no verse like yeah. you know so yeah you just gotta it's just like people you know people don't understand that and they don't know so like if they don't know then Hey, they're gonna be like thinking buying verses. It's like, you know, like, oh, that's weird. Or, yeah. But it's not. It's the best thing you could do, especially if you got talent and you know what you're doing. Yeah. For bro, sure. Not real shit. Uh, shit, 1400 to 200, that's the best ever I ever flipped in my life. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, <laughs> laughing uh, at, the, I was damn near, you damn near laughing at the nigga what? who said, don't buy the verse. Like, nigga, what? Sit your you ass crazy. down somewhere. Well, we about to, <laughs> what? It's over with. What is your process like for selecting beats and working on lyrics for your songs? Uh, the process, honestly, um, it's crazy. Like, sometimes I could take, like, a while. Not really, though. But uh, most of the times, like, all my last songs I did, like that Young and Wild, the Draco song, yeah. um, Blue Bluck's, uh song, all the, all the shit I just did, the Y&J with the Coochie Man, whatever, Yeah, that shit took minutes. Like, I went in, I literally freestyled that young and wild shit like i was just in the booth like just fucking around freestyled it sent it to the boy and he did his first yeah. boom like so the process for me is it's quick like go yeah. in there pick a beat put a beat on a beat probably be playing when i walk in i tell my engineer like oh what's up with the beat like shit yeah. hop on 
and I just go in there and freestyle. Like that shit easy. <laughs> Have you always freestyled or no? I haven't always used freestyled. To write everything? I, I used to write everything. But now it's like, damn, like it's just so it just comes to me, like, and I don't rap about nothing but like what I what I live. So it's just like it's easy, yeah. like who Don't can't who can't raps. yeah who can't go <laughs> like you know go in the lab and talk about what you just did today, like yeah. you know. So that shit easy, like it's a it's like a talent, it's like a blessing to have that talent too. Yeah, that shit nah, it really too. is. I I think being able to to consistently make music and consistently yeah. put the words together, like that's a that's like a yeah. superpower for yeah. real. Yeah. Or mama's not. Sometimes things you feeling like now I'm running out of words, but yeah. <laughs> trying to reword some shit. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that shit crazy. That shit dope. Are there any producers that you rocking with uh, specifically? I know your your new record that you just dropped, Young and Wild uh, Legend. Man, yeah, no, that's one of my that's one of my favorite producers. Oh right yeah, now. on God, bro, Legend, dope. Uh, Legend from Dago too. I didn't even he, know that. Yeah, until this week. I yeah. literally hit that nigga up like, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, no cap, you yeah. hard as fuck. Yeah, no cap. Yeah, legend, legend, dope. I'm working with legend right now. He just sent me a B on the way here to write to as I'm on yeah. the road. Um, uh, Marvin Beats, he dope. He did the Draco one. Yeah. Um, Ani did the War of Me. He he did that one. He was like, I think like 14, 13. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Yeah, and then, kid. Um, yeah, kid, <laughs> bro. I'm like, damn. Um, who else right now? Scope. Scope just did the one with Blue Bloods. He, yeah. he hard, too. Yeah, it's it's a few that I'm rocking with right now. How can people send you beats? Uh, my email, yeah. uh, kt4 and at gmail dot com. Okay. I get people every every day, literally. Yeah. Are they, are What's they, your email? What's your are, email? Are they fire beat. beats that you usually get sent to you? Or are they? Some is it be like that's why I took my I took my um I took my email off my uh Instagram bio because people was abusing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was like all right now yeah I'm like out of head. yeah right, right. I feel you um. In 2020, you dropped hella singles. Uh, do you think the singles were, were the, are the way for you right now, or like that's that's just what you're doing right now? Yeah, hella. I will advise people. Like you know, some people will tell you like, no, you should drop an album. Right, but me personally, I feel like singles is the way to go. You know, because versus dropping like ten songs and everybody trying to go through the ten songs, like I rather like you know drop one song out of those ten songs. Cause now you got people waiting for you know what you got coming up next, and at the same time, like you still making shit, and at the same time, it's like you don't have to you know keep trying to go and make more. You still got content for the next two or three months. Like we mentioned yeah. earlier, you was like, um, do you feel like the fans will like die down if you don't drop consistently? Like consistently, like uh, singles is the best way to yeah. go when you want to be consistent for yeah. real, for real. Yeah. You could drop twenty songs in an album. Then you got to go back in the lab and make a whole another, you know, whatever. Yeah. But if you just got 20 songs set up, shit, two yeah. months, yeah. drop, two months, drop, you, shit, that's a couple years of music worth. Like, yeah. that's what I feel like. Nah, nah, real shit. Uh, so you got the new single out with the boy, Young and Wild. Uh, you got Foot Fees with uh, Phoenix Flex out, out now. Um, what can the people expect coming soon in uh, 2021? I see you tease the Draco. I see you tease the Blue Bucks clan. Like, what, what can they expect in 2021? 2021. Uh, uh, the Draco one, I'm kind of uh, waiting off for a little bit. But, you know, shit, for sure, I think 2021, I th you know, that's going to drop. Um, yeah. Blue Bucks for sure. I just talked to them today. We're trying to uh, work out, uh, focus on when we're about to shoot the video. So, right when I shoot the video, I'm going to drop the song, and then I'm going to drop the video. Yeah. And then... Uh, Y and J, the Coochie Man one. Yeah. Uh, we gonna do the I gotta do the video of that in LA like this week or next week. Yeah. Uh we'll finish it for my scenes because we already did his scenes. Yeah. And then uh Bino. I got a song with Bino, me, Siete Gang Yabi. Yeah. And Bino, I'm about to just go ahead and drop the audio like sooner than everybody think. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be that's how, that's gonna be a banger. Yeah, I'm about to drop the audio like real, real soon. Yeah. Hello. The the last project you dropped was uh twenty sixteen. Do you plan on dropping a project anytime soon? Uh after I drop all these singles, I think what I'm gonna do is put them all together and as an album. Yeah. As a project, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. That's what I'm gonna do, actually. How you feel about Tricker? Who? Tricker. Trigger. Tricking, like tricking, you know how niggas be tricking on females, <laughs> <laughs> like buying burgers and shit. Burgers, Birkins, Birkin bags. 
Oh. Purses. Um, How you feel about that? I don't do it. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not going to knock nobody, and I'm not going to, you know, like, you know, like, <laughs> uh, just, it's just not me, so. Yeah. I mean, they do your thing, whatever y'all, you know, that's you y'all. <laughs> How I you feel about snitching? Oh, no. That's a zero tolerance. Yeah. That's that's out. Uh, Shit, you know, my bro, my brother, he got towed on. It didn't stick, you know. He coming home in a couple of months. Yeah. But uh, for you know a hot one, and, and the person was supposed to be like family to us. That's fucked but, up. Yeah, and he and he told, but you know it didn't stick. So like, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't fuck with that at all. If you doing that, stay away from. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about uh? You know how like uh basically recently, Casanova had went down or whatever, and they the fans are saying that. They took information from his interview on Vlad TV into part of like building that case. As far as like when niggas artists is doing interviews, do you think it's on the artist or the interviewer to feel me kind of watch it? You feel me? Because ain't nobody trying to do an interview. And I mean, the, the interviewer gonna do his thing. I just like earlier you asked me, do you are you from somewhere in there? Yeah. And I said what I said. So yeah. you know, like that's on the artist. Like you gotta, you know, if the interviewer asks you something, you just gotta be like, you know, like. Don't snitch on yourself. Yeah. Because no, like, you, know, you know they look. They look at everything you do. They yeah. looking at Instagram. They looking at YouTube. They looking at every, all your moves that you making. They yeah. they looking. Period. It's not just interviews. So yeah. they can say they got something from an interview and really got it from somewhere else too. Yeah. So. Not facts. <laughs> <laughs> what are your hobbies outside of music? Um. Outside of music. I mean, uh, I'll probably be, you know, on Madden or something, you know. You saucy and Madden? <laughs> Madden off spanking feet, man. What? You beat yeah. you? <laughs> hey. <laughs> you beat him? The last three times who the won, The last three? Man. The last three. We was in Vegas for New Year's. Was... The last three? <laughs> oh, that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. He said <laughs> I play Madden and I fuck with that. I fuck with the Madden. Oh, yeah? Oh, everything. You got the five? Nah, yeah. Nah, I'm about to get the new Xbox. I've been trying to find oh, that. Okay, you fuck with the Xbox. The I have played the five version. Yeah, yeah I played it at the homie crib. I'm still, I am still do what I do. Okay, all right. Who, who, who you be using? Baltimore. Oh, okay, yeah, the Ravens. It's no, it's no fall off. It's, yeah, it's yeah. The same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, they be on me when I got the cheese, but if I go get the My Seahawks. My boy the cheese. Is that, is that cheating? The, the Chiefs? No, nah, it's not. Especially when you got the Ravens. I've been beat. Bad. Yeah. I play against the Chiefs. I play against the Chiefs for sure. Yeah, yeah, hella, hella. I nah. play against the Chiefs for sure. That's they just, what's up. The bro. only thing, nah, that wasn't. I mean, oh, they quarterback nine nine Tyreek Hill speed. Nah. Patrick Loki is a cheat code. Though, cause <laughs> I got a crazy ass arm. Yeah, but what about uh, the Seahawks uh, quarterback? He. Right, right. Yeah. That, that's yeah. just like the Ravens. Yeah. I feel like yeah. the Ravens defense is epic. Yeah. No okay. cap. That's real shit. That is real shit. Do you believe in aliens or ghosts? I barely believe in holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Hell nah. Nah. Mm-mm. All right. I mean, when I was younger, they used to be like, oh, UFO. They used to bring, uh, what's that shit called? You know, the blimps used to come across. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, that's the UFO. Nah. <laughs> you have a favorite food spot right now? Uh, I don't, man. I've been eating out so much. <laughs> My favorite food is going to be tacos homemade. For real. Uh, on everything. Like Homemade you know. food is great, though. Right? Yeah, no. that's my favorite f- food spot, it. homemade. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Do you believe that you're your biggest critic? What do you mean by that? You know, like people say like they say people are the biggest critic. Like no one, you're not gonna, no one's gonna critique you as hard as you go critique yourself about some shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nah, I, I feel, I feel that I feel I'm my biggest critic too. Yeah, even though I mean, I guess sometimes niggas do be trying to tell me shit, but yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. I feel like some, most of the time if a nigga telling me something, I probably already feel that way. Yeah, anyway. yeah, you already know. <laughs> yeah, everything. I get that a lot. Like people be trying to tell me, I'll be like, oh. You're telling me something I already know. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. 
If you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Mm. Any animal? I hate animals. I'm allergic to animals. For real? Um, I don't know. I fuck with animals. I can't even tell you. <laughs> just you, go, you got to skip it. If you're allergic to them, fuck it. Just skip it. Yeah. <laughs> they make me sneeze, itch. I'm yeah. kind of retarded. What what advice could you give to up and coming artists? Um, through whatever y'all go through in life, whatever it is, like you know, death, struggling, whatever it is you go through in life, just keep pushing. Period. That's the best advice, and yeah. you know, the seven P's just live by that. Yeah, right, facts. Did you have a favorite cartoon as a kid? Uh. No, I didn't. Right. I'm trying to think. I didn't though. Right. But I used to fuck with the wild thornberries though. Yeah. That's it's not just... even out no more, I don't think. Nah. I think that day, like, yeah. It was going crazy. Yeah, hella. Like, I was fucking with it. What about a favorite cereal? Um <laughs> Uh Nah. Nah. <laughs> How you feel about rap beef? You ever had a rap beef? Like, <laughs> cause that's you fuck. You think it's fake? What? Yeah, that rap beef shit is like. I mean, most of them be fake, but you know, some of them be like really like. Jerry shit going on. Yeah, they be like really tripping, like. But. Yeah, I don't really like rap beef. To me, I don't really like to rap beef. I don't want to rap beef. Yeah. Don't rap beef for me. <laughs> I feel like you gonna want some clout if you try to rap beef for me. Like, yeah. Nah, don't rap beef for me. Do you look at comments? Uh, I do. I don't, but I do. Do you respond I, to comments? Like if somebody nah. disrespects you in the comments, you no, nah, you wouldn't. Respond, you're not gonna nah. go back and forth. Nah, with I'm it. not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I doing do that. that. I see people in the comments that be saying crazy shit and see me in public. Like, can I get a picture? So damn. It's retarded. I just... Look at look at how that turned out. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like, if you could relive your life, would you change anything? Um, shit, yeah. Any kind of mistakes that I, I will change like the way that I moved, then, to the way that I move now through the whole way out. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it took me how I moved in, you to, know, to figure, to this, figure this out. Though, yeah. yeah. So, I always be saying if I could go in a time machine with the knowledge that I know now, right, right, the younger me would be a motherfucking dog. <laughs> what <laughs> the goat for real, <laughs> man? Nah, real shit. Uh, what do you need to get into your vibe in the studio? Um, shit, I just need to. Hear my voice on the mic, like how I'm feeling, like to come off, like you know, yeah. like going there, like the beat, really the beat. When I hear the beat, and then I go in there and say, like, cause at first I'd be like, oh shit, like if I'm making a song with somebody, I'd be like, I'll start it off. But if not, I'll go in there, I'll start it off, and then I like when I start it off though, that's when I get my vibe, cause like once I one bar, two bar, three bars, then I start feeling it, like okay, yeah, this back it's on it, like, yeah, yeah hello. No, I, f- I fuck with that. What's the place you want to travel to? Uh, Dubai. Uh, I just heard it was like, yeah, Dubai, fucking Dubai, hella crazy. Yeah. I heard it was different. That shit, hella crazy. <laughs> you been there? <laughs> you been there before? Nah, it's oh, oh, like one of the richest cities. I seen motherfuckers there though. I know it's like a rich ass city. Yeah, like, yeah, nice as fuck. Yeah, that's what I heard. You feel me? I'm trying to see what's popping. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that. What inspires you? Um, inspires me to rap. Just in general, as far as the music, daily life. Oh, everything I go through in life. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 
What do you think has changed the most in your music over the years? Um, my styles. Yeah. I always switch on my styles. Yeah. Like, always. Like, but, yeah, that's that's the only thing I see that's changed. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why you always change your style? Because it be like, so at first, when I started rapping, like, we had, like, well, me and, you know, the two, uh, my two bros in my camp. Uh, we was all rapping one way, different though from each other. Yeah. But then like we switched it up and was rapping like another way. And then the last time we switched it up, uh, they started rapping like uh, this now. Like you know, like they more intense. I got like a more laid back flow, yeah. but uh, they more intense. But I was rapping when they did that. That's when I was doing like the little, um, like you know, like I started doing the songs with, like SOB. And, yeah. Like all of them, and uh, I did that just so you know we get the attention type shit. So like once like I got the attention and they see I'm doing songs with the camp, and then you know I'm doing songs with this person and so forth from the bay here and there. And yeah. Then like they tapped in, so now when they all the way tapped in, now I do my regular shit now. Yeah. Like boom, and they like oh, okay that's you a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you a smart, you a smart dude. Who did your chase? Um. Uh, Paul uh, in San Diego. Well, he well this last one I had, he went through somebody from out here, L.A. Okay. Matter of fact, I just gave him you know some extra bread to do it for me. Yeah. You know, that's all it's about. That shit busting for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah they <laughs> did their thing. Do you have any goals for twenty twenty one? Goals. Goals, yeah, for the year. Shit. Trying to touch a million by December thirty first. <laughs> Facts. 2021. <laughs> Facts. For sure. Uh, for my final question, I want to ask you, what advice would you give to the younger you? Um, to the younger me? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, just to do whatever, to stay focused, you know. Um, uh, move right, move smart. Uh, you know, grind it out. You know, through any situation, just keep pushing. Yeah. Don't matter what it is. Yeah. Because, you know, that's all you're going to, you know, that's the only way you're going to progress. Just keep pushing. Yeah. Fire proper planets prevents piss poor performances. Yeah. For sure. Not real shit. Yeah. Do you have any final words for the people before you get out of here? Um. Shit, yeah. I fuck with the people. Uh, You know, keep fucking with me. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep rocking for y'all. Uh, got hella shit for y'all I'm about to put out. So, shit, you know, I'm going I'm to keep y'all lit. Just keep me lit. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, KT Ford, I appreciate you for fucking with me, bro. Hell yeah, for surely. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.